Step 1. Set the water level of the tank inside the machine. 1. Set the coolant water leakage switch closing at the highest level and set the coolant water leakage switch opening at the lowest level. 2. Take the highest and the lowest levels and set the fixed water level and then select the applicable boil. 3. Connect one end of the hose to the oil collector base and then place it at the appropriate position in the tank. Step 2. Confirm the machine mounting position. 1. Measure the length of the unit and the tank pipe and cut the pipe to the appropriate length. And then connect all pipes to the designated positions in the machine. Two, attention. The outlet pipe should not be higher than the outlet port. Three, do not insert the return pipe into the tank more than three centimeters deep. Step three, levelness calibration. One, after completing the machine installation, adjust the levelness to the position indicated by the leveler for the waste oil separation tank to achieve the required leveling effect. Two, after completing the levelness calibration, top up the waste oil separation tank tilled to the highest point of B tank. Step four, connect power and check if the voltage is set at correct 110 volts, 220 volts. Step five, control panel figure setting. One, water pumping unit. Action time, 20 minutes. Stopping time, 10 minutes. Two, oil skimmer unit. Action time, 30 minutes. Stopping time, 10 minutes. Three, ozone sterilization. Do not exceed four hours per day, and this item must be reset in each day. Four, pH monitor system. Take off the envelope on pH test rod and install the rod into a signed hole. Steadily and vertically dig pH test rod into the bottom of the hole and then put the plug back to finish the setting. Start power and it will be displayed. The default setting value is 7 to 8.5. If change is required, please refer to the instructions. P.S. This control panel is not equipped with memory function. In case of power shutdown, Push emergency switch. In this case, the memory will be reset to zero and the control panel should be reprogrammed. Step six, final adjustment. After completing the aforesaid steps, be sure to confirm following items. One, check if the length of the selected buoy is correct and if the suction force is normal. Excessive suction force should be avoided. Two, check if the flowing of return tank and wastewater tank of the waste oil separation tank is active at the same time. If the return tank does not show any water flowing and the water content of the waste oil tank is too high, then it means the levelness should be recalibrated. 3. Check if the control panel setting is correct. After confirming the aforesaid installation as correct, proceed with the routine maintenance according to the operation manual.